Here is a small coffee shop and I am all about uh, ensuring my customers find their perfect brew. So instead of navigating through a maze of filters, I've set up this nifty guided selling system right here on the screen. It's as simple as making your choice and you're all set to savor your favorite coffee. Display results. Here's the best results. Some other results. Go to the product and add it to the cart. But the perks don't stop here because this system isn't just for coffee or WooCommerce shop. You can also supercharge your quoting forms too. For example, here's a quoting form. Choose your target, services, choose your tools, set your budget, submit the form, and you will receive the message with all the information you otherwise need to ask later. Now, if you're curious about how to make this work for you, just stick around and let me show you how. First thing first, we need to install a plugin. The plugin is called WP Guidant, the one you see on the screen right now. Take a look at the demos. There are a bunch of demos here, for example, real estate, SEO service, customer feedback, car rental, and works really well. Now you would like to know how much does it cost? Take a look at the pricing. For me, it has a reasonable pricing system. As you see, at the moment, there are discounted prices on the screen, but Regular price for one site is $69 and for the lifetime it's $99. Not bad. Those are the official prices, but if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a link with a discount coupon and you will get 10% off. Now let's see how does it work. If you install the plugin and go to the WordPress dashboard, there is a WP Guidance menu. Let's start with the templates. All the templates are here if you would like to see what is what. For example, this one, purchase a car. Click on a demo button. You'll see the demo. If you would like to import it, then just click on import button and it will take only a second to import it. There it is. Now you can customize it as you like. If you would like to add it to the page, then just grab this short code. Now go to the pages, add new, give it a title, select short code block. Add the short code, publish your page, open it up, and there's your guide. Can't get any easier than that. But if you would like to create your own guide, then just click on the Create Guide button, give it a title, for example, Filter for Coffee. If you would like to display it on the front end, add it also here. If you would like to display the description, then this is the place to add it. Let's create one. It's down below here. Now let's manage filters, which means you need to click on this button here. First thing I would like to add is a card. For example, select the right coffee type for your taste. Filter type, title the same. Now scroll down, filter type is card. And the card is the one you see on the screen. This is a card. Now card type, whether it's checkbox or radio. If you would like to allow multiple selections, then select checkbox, otherwise radio. I'm going to leave it as checkbox and create. Now I'm going to manage cards, create a new card. And this time I have to add four cards. One, two, three, four, four cards. First is coffee beans. I'm going to add a description, select an image, go to the conditions, add a condition. And the condition is add remorse product category, matching type is equal, and value selection is from WordPress settings. Now I'm going to select this category and click create. Now what did I do? If someone selects this one, then all the products from this product category will be added to the filter. You can also add multiple conditions if needed. If it's done, then save changes. And let's go back to the cards. First is added. I'm going to add another one. This time is for Echo Coffee. Description. Image. Conditions. Once again, WooCommerce product category matching type equal. But you can also set other rules. Not equal, like, not like, contains, doesn't contain, greater than, less than. Value section manual entry or WordPress settings and choose the correct value here. As I said before, you can create multiple conditions. This one is done. Save changes back to the cards. 
Now I'm going to pause for a minute and add two other cards here. Okay, it's done. Four cards, coffee beans and other ones, that is those here. Next I need to add a price range filter and it's easy to do. I'm going to go back to the filters, create a new filter, give it a title, for example a price filter. Filter type is slider. Now I'm going to click on create. I'm going to open manage sliders, create new slider, give it a label. Slider type is range. I'm not going to add any images. Minimum range is zero, maximum 100. Slider step is one. I can add text before or after slider, but I'm not going to do that. And I can set the condition behavior. I'm not going to do that also. Save it. Back to the conditions, create new condition, attribute is product category, matching type between. You can choose whatever you want here. For example, if you use any other post types, then you can choose those here. Let's create it, save it, back to the filters, and now I have card filter and slider filter. Now back to the guides, I have it here. I'm going to grab the shortcode as I showed you before, add it to the page. Let's go to the pages. I'm going to open up this page, add the shortcode, paste it here, update it, view the page. And there you go. Here's my selling guide. Let's test it. Works like a charm. Show results. Done. Now, a couple of other things for you to know. I'm going to go back to the guides. Open up guide settings and design and you'll see there's a bunch of options here. Guide name, under the advanced settings you can select whether you would like to track the submission and where you can see it is under the reports up here. You open it up, you'll see all the activity for this specific guide. If you would like to see the detailed submission then open it up and you'll see what is what here. You can enable email notifications, that is, if you use a guide that has a form added to it. For example, this one here. Let's see. Here's a form. If someone submits a form and you would like to get the notifications, then enable this one here. You can configure email template, add custom CSS. If you would like to display this guide in a pop-up, then enable it, copy the shortcode. Let's test it. I'm going to paste this shortcode here, update it. Now it's here, opens up in a pop-up. You can customize the fonts and colors also here. Guide design options, filter design options, card design options. I usually tend to choose a card size large. I'm going to show what happens if I choose st standard. Save it, refresh it. And you'll see it much smaller, doesn't look any good. I'm going to choose large. And now it's much better. I'm going to delete this pop-up here. Slider design, form design, conditional logic. You can create additional logic rules here. For example, if someone selects coffee beans, then hide price filter. Let's test it. Save it. Now, if I choose this one, then there is a price filter. But if I choose this one, no price filter. This way you can create even more complex rules. Next one, result page, headlines, texts, no result text and colors. And here you can add the attributes you would like to display on the result page. What is the result page? Is this one here. If I think that this excerpt is irrelevant, then I'm going to delete it, save it, and now it's gone. Also, permalink button, if you open it up, you can change the text here. View product, add to cart, or whatever it is. Now a couple of other things before we wrap it up. For example, I have a form here for this filter, this one. Let's see how does it work. I'm going to create a filter, give it the title, form, choose filter type form, create, manage elements. Now I can add my fields here, for example, name, input field, or select checkbox radio or text area. Name, input type, 
whether it's required or not. Save. Back to the elements. Add item. Email. Element type. Input. Input type. Email. It's required. Save. Done. Nothing complicated here. So it's fairly easy to use. As you saw, it took me only a couple of minutes to set up this coffee guide. But if you for some reason stumble on a problem, then take a look at the documentation on their page. There are a bunch of Toro guides. And if you need additional help, then support is pretty responsive. Just open up a support ticket and you'll get your problem fixed. Now this is all nice and dandy, but there is a question. What happens if you don't know how to use WooCommerce? For this case, I have made a Toro tutorial and I would suggest you take a closer look at it. And the easiest way to do that is click on the video you see on the screen right now. In the meantime, take care.